Hello, in this five minute video, we're going to solve a problem which involves the order of operations. Napaka fundamental, pero marami pa rin ang kailangan ng mapaalalahanan sa kung paano nga ba mag solve ng mga problem kagaya nito. So we are asked to solve the equation 24 minus 32 plus 19 times 36 divided by 6. And pa limang options, and we know na isa dito ang tamang sagot. Ang unang ikinalilito ng marami is to actually decide ano ang dapat unahin. Alam nila na mayroong rule, pero hindi nila maalala or hindi nila matandaan ng maayos kung sino sa addition, subtraction, multiplication, division dapat na una. So, gaya ng title nitong ating Jamboard, talagang rule na sinusunod natin ay tinatawag na GEMDAS. Acronym yan para dun sa mga dapat mong i-prioritize sa tuwing may mga problem kagaya nito na maraming operations ang involved. So G, of course, means that you need to first look for grouping symbols. Tapos yan yung inaman yung may exponents. Tsaka ka lang magmumultiply. Or magdi-divide. That's interesting kasi kapag magkatabi multiplication and division, actually, you just go from left to right. And then, ganun din sa pag-add at pag-subtract. Add and then subtract. So, yan ibig sabihin ng gem test. So, kapag nakakita ka ng 24 minus the sum of 32 plus 19 multiplied by the quotient of 36 and 6, which is, by the way, the proper way of reading it, Tingnan mo lang yung rule. So, una mo susundin sa ayon dito ay yung letter G. Meron bang mga nakagrouping symbol? Grouping symbol, yan yung mga parentheses, pwede rin brackets, kagaya nito. Isan, ganito rin, gumagamit to group certain quantities. At unang naman makikita, uy, ito, yung 32 plus 19, at saka 36 divided by 6. So, agad-agad, pwede mong unahin yan. Allow me to rewrite. 36 divided by 6. Pwede mong unahin agad yung nakagrouping symbol. Which means, meron kang 32 plus 19, which is 51, multiplied by 36 divided by 6, which is 6. Meron ka pa rin 24 na dapat mong um, bawasan. So ano na lang natitira? Meron kang dapat isubtract at i-multiply. Mabilis mong makikita yan dito sa rule na nauuna yung M kaysa sa S. So, magmumultiply mo na tayo before we subtract, which means ito muna ang una mong dapat na isolve. At sinadya kong guhitan maging hanggang dito sa minus sign para malaman natin na yung 51 is actually negative. And the negative number subtracted, uh, multiplied by a positive number will give you a negative product. So, meron kang 24 Minus. Ano man ang sagot ng 51 times 6. So you can go ahead and do that. Do not need to decide. Multiplied by 6. 6 multiplied by 1 is 6. 6 times 5, you have 30. So 306 yan. Now, meron ka 24 minus 306. Obviously, mas malaki yung 306 is 24. So alam mo na agad na negative ang sagot. By virtue of elimination, you can immediately get rid of the positive options, therefore increasing the chances na makuha yung tamang sagot. Pero, now we go ahead and subtract. So, kapag magsusubtract ka at alam mo na naman na negative yan, kahit balik na na natin, this can be 306 subtracted by 24. 6 minus 4 is 2. 0 minus 2 is not possible. So, ito yung magiging 10. And you have 282 as your final answer, negative 282, which is the first one. So yeah, tandaan lamang itong acronym natin, GEMDAS, and subukang mag-solve ng mga problem na kagaya nito on your